We have a planned trip for June. That's going to be some uh, some serious elevation. So we're working in any um, exercise in elevation that we can. Prior to that, and uh, this particular hike is going to be up Mount Baldy Bowl and back. Just a short hike, and it's steep right off the bat, but there's a couple guys who should be coming in behind me, but if you follow my YouTube channel, I posted an open invite, said just get to the summit for breakfast, so I brought some prizes with me this time around. Just uh, something that you could remember this particular hike with. Um, and I posted this video where you couldn't ask questions, you couldn't leave comments, you couldn't rate. First time I've really done that. And the reason I did that is mainly because I wasn't going to be there to answer the questions anyway till it was over. But also, to those people who just always ask the questions. What's the elevation? How far? Is there water? Blah, 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 blah. Well, this causes them to have to look it up themselves. I even supplied the links and the details. But um, we'll see how many, if any, do it. It will be interesting. So I'm only at the San Antonio Falls. They have not flown like this since the mid 90s. Take a look at this. Usually that pool is only about ankle deep. That middle rock there is probably about a foot deep. If I remember right, that center rock. And it's about halfway up, so you're looking about a six to eight inch pool. I have a video where uh, there's seven falls in a row. We did repels, seven falls. This eventually flows down. It will pass. Ice House Canyon, Ice House Canyon Creek empties into it, then it will go further down, some other small ones empty in from the west, and this will be the one that comes out down past the school. If you take a look at this, it won't be the clearest, it's quite far. Let's see, where is it? It looks like a cave to me. Back up and try to find it. Let's see, it's over this way. There it is. I think. No. Yeah, look at that. Back of that bush looks like a cave. And it looks like a, a reptilian skull. Upper right hand corner there. The eyes. Right at that distance, it looks like a reptilian skull. Half. Eye in the mouth, but behind that bush, sure is a right cavity. And if it is, it's putting a runoff out of it that's coming down through there and straight down. 
It looks like a cave. Right there. Never noticed that before. There's the bowl. That's where I'm headed. I was thinking about just going up this. But I don't know. In the snow, maybe. Uh, actually, it would be that one. I don't know. That's the uh, backbone trail. It's the bowl. Baldy's on the other side of that. Bear Flats Trail. I'm up above the two uh, aircraft, the plane crashes, and so far I haven't had to put on my micro spikes. I don't know if I will. Looks like the trail just skirts the snow all the way up. It looks like you might be able to make it with no micro spikes up the bowl. If that changes, I'll show it. As for now, still no spikage. It is just a thin layer of snow up here. And it's pretty well compressed down. I haven't been slipping at all. You might want to bring some cages for your things so your poles don't go too deep. You know, there's your bend them, especially coming down. But uh, still no crampage, no spikes. There goes uh, Brett. <laughs> hey, Brett! <laughs> you guys in tip top shape, incredible shape. He blew past me like I was standing still. What was the final time? 1.36. An hour, 36 minutes. That's amazing, man. Thanks, man. Whew. How are you? All right. Well, I got something for you, man. What do you got? So I had an open invite, and I had a contest going. Then if you saw me and could answer a question, Brett answered the question quite easily. I won't tell you what the question is, because I might see somebody else. But uh, you win one of these. Take your pick, man. Oh shit. <laughs> Sweet. There, oh, make sure it works because the battery's in it. Push it back. Yeah, it works. And then pull the top. Oh dang, I didn't even see it. It's a lamp. Button. It's a lamp? Yeah, dude. And look at my my channel. Yeah, dude. It's my channel. That's sweet. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. It says Pharaoh. Yeah, it's still light too. Uh everywhere is within walking distance. <laughs> <laughs> that was badass. <laughs> 
So you made it up there in how far? How long? 136. An hour, 36 minutes up the bowl. That's from your car to the top, right? Yeah. Now, tell them what you have planned for the rest of the day. Oh, I'm going to go run back down and do it again. <laughs> I'm sure I will see you coming up on my way down. Are you doing, devil, are you doing uh, Devil's Backbone down? No. Ski hut? Yeah. All right. I think the hut's open. So. Yeah, it is, but some guy was cooking lunch in there. Or dinner or breakfast. I'm going to go up there and make breakfast, then come back down. But on the way back down, you'll pass Martin. He's in an orange jacket. I saw him down there. Mike LeBray's with him. All right, I'll let him know that you're all good. You're based on the same on the summit. <laughs> Wind's coming from the northeast, blowing this way. It's blowing, uh, let's see. Actually, it's blowing northwest. It's blowing northwest. It's coming from southeast. So I'm gonna go there and get behind that little wall. Perfect spot to do some shadow watching. Possibly even see some bighorn, but most of all, to make breakfast. Almost all the walls up here are constructed to block wind coming from the northwest. That's because that's night in the morning. It's going the other way, just about almost always. It switches early morning, almost always. There's another cool spot down here, but I want to be visible to anybody coming up because I know there's some people behind me. So I have my, uh, let's see. My onions, a little bit of butter, some oil, stove my friend Eric gave me, the rock base, the Boy Scout kit, water, ready for the, ready for some coffee, a couple eggs will go in there, voila, breakfast. Spork, spatula, the kit, bet the uh, Boy Scout cup. Kit comes with the fry pan, the bowl, the pot, the lid, the cup. My sister got it all for five bucks, and it's a vintage. It was in mint condition. I've since used it. And uh, I just brought my everyday carry a knife <laughs> carbon graphite super light 
ballet song. Uh, two friends gonna be coming in from there. Word on the trail is they're in the rock garden, just starting up. So I'm gonna lay down here, out of the wind, wait on my breakfast and my coffee, and my friends. that pan up. As soon as I drink this, pack, I'm gonna pack up and get on out of here. Okay, there's where I was. They should be up there by now. I would have thought that they would have at least looked over they expect to be up there. I don't know. I made myself a coffee to go though. <laughs> I mainly came up here to do a water stash for a hike within the next few days. I recognize that sweater. That's Mike LeBray. <laughs> yeah, it's Mike. So there should be an orange windbreaker. I didn't bring anything, it's a little cold up here. Should be an orange windbreaker. Either up here or down there behind him. I don't see Martin anywhere. Is out in that vicinity <laughs> in the lower pines. So, Mike made it up. Mike LeBray. 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 And um, Martin was hiking with a guy in the blue. Martin, I don't know. He no show yet. He may be, he may have been raped by a Sasquatch on the way up, a Yeti. I saw one. I but saw he, tracks in the snow. I saw tracks in the snow too. But he brought me up this mound. So, got some coffee to go. He's trying out his new jet boil. I got something for him too. He answered my question correctly. And Martin, Martin makes it. So, three people. My open invite, but I understand it was Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day, everybody. Oh, <laughs> Martin, <laughs> somebody told me they saw <laughs> the guy back there in an orange jacket face down the snow. He'd been raped by a Yeti. <laughs> so that's why Martin's walking funny over there. <laughs> <laughs> here he comes, here comes Speed Racer, he's a demon on wheels. Oh, the tortoise. <laughs> Where's the Swedish bikini team at? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. I can do it. Look at that, the Yeti with this claws slashed open the back of his pants, trying to get into his pants. <laughs> You're walking a little funny, Martin. <laughs> uh, yeah, Yeti got me. I fought him off too. Yeah. 
<laughs> you fought him off for a while, but you're walking funny. Look at how the light is on west. Go west. I don't know how many of you will be familiar with a cartoon called Flapjack. Uh-oh, it's going west. But where that guy walks by. <laughs> no, they're looking for Candy Island in the boat. And that guy goes by in the boat. And he's got his hands up, both hands up, crossed. He's going, weast. <laughs> that was such a hilarious cartoon. It was bizarre. Where did you take it out? Did you take So Martin got the question too, so choose your color, dude. Thank you, Alan. Go ahead, get one for Monica too. Oh, awesome. Let me see, I'm gonna pick the gray. And I'll get her, I'll get her the green, but she's horny all the time. <laughs> Thank read, you, Alan. Read, read it. Oh, yes. Pharaoh, anywhere is within walking distance. And the little hit. Oh, wow. Yeah, somebody from my brother's school made them for free. 60 something of them. Oh, me, this is great. For me to give out. And, Thank you. And turn them on, make sure they work. Because a few of the batteries in the back pushed it. A few oh. of the batteries are. are no worries, I'll, I'll load up new batteries on. That's fucking great. And now, it's also a lamp. lamp? Oh, that's great. It's light. This thing's really light. Cool. Does it go with me? Thank you. You're welcome. You're either freaking... Somebody bagged your bag, huh? Tell them what happened. I, I don't know if I left no, my bag up, in the car. I think I, you pulled it out here. I, I think you took this thing out of it. No, I thought these were my. These were in my. Uh, I took the bag out at the ski hut. Remember that? Yeah, oh, you did. So you, did you leave it there? I probably left it at the ski hut. Oh, man. I left it there. I don't think get back down there and get it. Yeah, I don't think I'm People are pretty good. You know what? They'll leave it in the ski hut. I think. People, are, you know what I mean? Cause I took it out. I'm gonna make a. Martin's got a, a knockoff jet boil that's called a jet burl. <laughs> yeah, APG. Thing works great. So they're gonna have a wait. Do it at the same time. See, see who gets the boil first. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me get some water in there. <laughs> now this is a shortcut. You can go down this and hit that bowl, but it is steep. Okay, one of the rare times you'll see this guy moving slow, but tell him why. Oh, I did one lap, this is my second lap today. He's already been up, and you were up on 137? 136 up. Okay, and then you went back down to the car. Yeah, And then 15 minute break. 15 minute break, and now you're out, what are you at right now? 140. 140, you'll still make it. 205 to 10. I'll try to chase you and back down. If you combine down. both your times, you'll still be faster than one my, my single time going up. <laughs> Serious. Training, the Baldy Marathon. <laughs> Have a good one, dude. Yeah, I'll, hey, I'll look around, Alan. Here we go. Here we go, bro. Coming down, I see these on the ground, and then you see who they belong to? Check that out. Apollo Creed. Look at this. Yo, Polly. Yo, Alan. Did you get the license of the truck? License plate? What li what license plate? Plate the truck that ran over your face. That's the best line from Rocky. Did you get the license plate? What license plate? Yo, like if you ain't doing nothing and if I ain't doing nothing, like what are you doing for the rest of your life? <laughs> well, you want to like get married or something? <laughs> yo, yo, Adrian, you want to go? Yo, Adrian, you want to go to the zoo? Yeah, you remember how he picks up on her? Fucking, fucking buy turtle food. <laughs> He's telling fucking stories about the turtle. Well, he ch kind of chokes on the fly. Okay, uh, what is the turtle's name? Oh fuck, there's two of them. I don't yeah. remember, dude. Wasn't one of them named Wedge? Like, I don't know. I forget. <laughs> That's such a good movie. Yeah, I like I like trivia like that. There were two turtles. He had two turtles. Yeah. He bought them See, from this guy knows. same pet. This is a, hey, you're gonna win a prize right now if you can tell us on Rocky. What was first, his two turtles? First Rocky. Who was his two turtles names? His pet turtles. The very first Rocky. Uh I'm not sure, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we're trying to figure it out too. <laughs> I think it was Lincoln Wedge. Yeah, he had weird names for him. If it's but, Lincoln but, Wage, but one of them choked on flies. I am the master. That's what it was. He choked on the flies. I had to take out that little island. 
that's one of the best movies of all time right there. <laughs> I don't know how you remember all that. You got never... A uh, selective memory. Ask me any trivia question about anything, about any show back in our day. Test my memory. Well, think of one on the way down. Let me know when you got one. Yeah, thank you. Here, I need a new profile picture. All oh, my profile pictures. I've never seen anybody live update their profile. I always see it on Facebook, but I've never seen it done. This is a, this is a first for me. Uh, I think you have on a video, buddy. <laughs> Bro, I did. Fuck. Check it. Is. Back down to the truck. Martin got a new car. You know, I had that poison oak on my feet, right? Yeah. My feet got real swollen because of it, and man, my toes, I just feel my toes bleeding. Uh, I can just feel like it broke up, blister broke open. Uh, These, the right boot is so tight. Ugh. That's no bueno, buddy. I can't see, Mick. Uh, cut it. Cut me. Cut me, cut me, Mick. Cut me. <laughs>